One of the best pieces of YouTube advice that I received in the past is that if there is no action call, there's no action taken. In other words, if you're not using CTAs or call to actions in your YouTube videos, yeah. CTAs and call to actions are one of the best ways to nurture, grow, and convert your audience. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom CTA buttons with Canva and CapCut that looks like this. And be sure to stay all the way through this video because I'm going to share with you some ninja tricks on CapCut that I think you might find very helpful. So stay tuned. Hi friends, it's Larissa aka La to the A E double S A. Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you are new here. This is a place on the internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters level up their content creation, marketing, and branding game. And if you are a real estate agent looking to leverage, scale, and build your business with YouTube and social media strategies, then I am your girl and I want to partner with you. So to learn more about what that all entails, then scan this code right over here to learn more about that. Now in this video, we are going to be talking about call to actions, CTAs, and how to make them with CapCode and Canva. Now, the premise of this video really is, first, we are going to be creating the green screen effect with Canva, and then we're going to export this and then import it into CapCut. And if I give this a quick play here, let's see what it looks like. Game, so if that sounds like your vibe, then please hit subscribe. Now in this video, I have a very exciting, very highly requested video, and that is what, ta -da! that's what it looks like. And it's super easy. Really, it is. Trust me. So to begin here, we need to start with Canva and you just want to go to this doc type here, which is the video doc type. This is a 1920 by 1080 pixels. And generally speaking, this is what the dimensions would be for a horizontal video pretty much anywhere. So go ahead and click on that. In this case, I've already created that doc type here. and I'm just going to click on a new page. Now, again, we are making a green screen effect. So for this green color, it is let's pull the hex code. This is zero zero or hashtag zero zero B one four zero. And if you have green in your brand, I'm sorry, uh, but you can use a different color like purple. So it's on the opposite side. But in this case, just to make things simple and easy, we are using a green screen effect and we're using no green in our CTA. Okay, to begin here, let's just extend this by, I want to do usually 7.5 seconds. That's enough to have the animation come up, people can read it, and then it goes back down. So elements, the rounded square here, and then I'm just going to extend this like that. Just gonna eyeball it for now. And then we are going to center this, and obviously we're gonna make it white. Then we're going to go into elements here. We're going to go down and find the circle frame. This is where you are going to be putting in your photo. So your profile photo, I would suggest using the same one you have for your YouTube profile picture. And then I'm just going to go to my brand kit, pull this one in. Now this one is already cropped in a circle, but if it wasn't cropped in a circle, that frame would help you crop it into a circle. Now I'm going to go to T on my core my keyboard for T for a text box. And generally speaking, what I would recommend for font is Roboto condensed. In this case, I'm going to remove the italics and then change it just to regular, not uppercase. But I am, what I am going to do is duplicate this here, but make this bold. Yes. In this case, you can put the name of your channel, but I would highly suggest just putting your name in there so people know who you are. Now for this bottom text here, you can put generally the thesis or premise of your channel, or if you are a real estate agent, you can say, you know, your Austin, Texas realtor, or, you know, your Calgary realtor or whatever you want to say, and just put it in there. Or you can also put in your contact information, like your cell number, email address, or what else? You can also say, follow me on Instagram and put your, your handle there. So really whatever you want to put here. But in this case, I'm just going to put my channel theme here, which is Canva and content creation for realtors. Okay. And then I'm just going to align this accordingly and make sure this is right in the middle. Uh, I'm going to just do it just, just like that. Okay, now here we have the fun part, which is putting in our subscribe. So I'm just going to actually make this a little bit more longer. Make sure it's centered. And you know what? Maybe I should make this text just a little bit smaller. Just like that. Now we're going to go into elements and we're going to search for subscribe button, which I've already looked up here. Now, 
I am a Canva Pro user, but of course you can make this all using Canva free. But if you have yet to try out Canva Pro, then I highly recommend you scan this code over here to try Canva Pro for 30 days free. Again, that link is also in the description box down below. Now in this case, I did use just a free YouTube subscribe button here. But in this case, what I did, if I zoom in here, zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, zoom. <laughs> down here uh, what i did was actually crop out this section here so i'm just going to just click here click and drag and just make that look nice and neat and then just size it down just like that next up what i did was go into elements again and i searched up just thumbs up yeah, thumbs up and i grabbed this one this one's also free and it's somewhere here and then we can also change the color now what i recommend is you take this the color picker and choose the exact red so it is matching and it is cohesive and it looks good so i'm just gonna do that and then on the right hand side i'm just gonna grab a c put c on your keyboard for circle that's an easy shortcut and again we are going to choose that red here i believe it's this one and we are going to put that over here and if i zoom in here we want to make sure that the circles on each side are pretty much identical so that like that so that looks about right and then i'm going to go into elements and we're going to look up bell and i'm going to hit enter and then i'm going to go into animated because i want something a little bit more fun bell see all i chose this one here because it's white and it just fits the theme so i'm just gonna size that all the way down and just put that in there zoom back in and then what i'm going to do is i usually like to go into positions here and then i'm just going to grab this red circle and then hit shift and select the bell and then we are just going to group that together so it's one cohesive piece next thing we need is a click or mouse click and then again, I went to animated, click on here, click out of here, see all. And I chose this one here. And of course, size that accordingly. And we're just going to position it right about here. Right, so that's pretty much the design for your CTA here. And we're just going to click and drag, make sure that it's completely centered. And now what I'm going to do is just group this. Now, here is where we're going to add in the animation. So follow very closely if you want to replicate this exact animation pathway. Now, again, this is grouped. We're going to go make sure it's selected. Everything is selected. So you can see that it is in that purple rectangle. We're going to go up to elements up elements sorry animation up here animate and then we are going to find the baseline animation that i chose here and then i'm going to go hit both so it animates in and animates out and then you'll see here reverse exit animation we want that toggle on so essentially it's going to come back up and then go back down if you don't do that it's just going to go up and then the animation is just going to go up so test it out if you want in this case, I'm going to reduce the speed so it's a little bit more smoother. Pops up like that. Now in this case, what we can do now is go in and animate just select elements on this design here. Now in this case, I want to animate just this subscribe button. And you know it's selected because again, it has that purple rectangle. Then we're gonna go to this pop-up and I'm just going to reduce the speed just slightly. And then if we scroll down here, we'll see some other animations that Canva has introduced to the platform, which are motion effects. In this case, I like the flickering one because it makes it look as if the mouse is clicking it and then it, it highlights into the full red color. So that's just to add some interesting contrast. And that is pretty much it for the design here. Let's give it a full playback here. Dun dun, very clean, very smooth. And at this point, you can create whatever CTA you want using this method. It's 
completely up to you. In this case, we're just creating a simple subscribe button, your name, so people know exactly who you are and what you're all about. Now, in this case, let's go up to the share button. We're going to download this, download MP4 video file, and then we're just going to select just page two because that's just all we want, and then hit done, and then hit download. And this is going to download to your desktop. Now, while we wait for that, let's go to cap cut i'm going to just exit out of this here and this is the interface that you would see with cap cut so this is the desktop version of cap cut now cap cut is owned by the same company that has created tiktok now cap cut there is a mobile version an app version i or sorry desktop version i prefer the desktop version because it's just more intuitive to use for me and in this case a lot of real estate people follow me on this channel and i wanted to give you all a very easy and intuitive platform to use to edit your youtube videos or instagram reels or tiktoks or whatever have you and i love CapCut for this because it is also free and very easy to use. Now, I'm just going to hit new project. Now, if you notice over here, I am logged in using my TikTok account. Now, you can use CapCut even if you don't have TikTok, but I've signed in to CapCut with my TikTok account because it allows me to favorite different things, which I'm going to show you when it comes to favoriting sounds. So we're going to click the new project here, and then I'm just going to go up here and just name this you to template now follow me on this just just stick with me here now in this case what we're going to do is import our ctas that we have just downloaded it from canva downloads here give it a play all right so we're going to import this in here and now i'm going to drag this onto my timeline but then i'm going to click and drag it up because typically speaking your ctas sit on top of your talking head footage or your main footage right so this would be where you would put your talking head and then the ctas would sit on top or live on top now just to give you an idea of what that looks like i'm just going to import a, a piece of footage here so just give me a second all right, so I found that piece of footage. I'm just going to import it in here and then again, just drag it down here so you see that the CTA should sit on top of your main footage here. Now again, we have that green screen effect, which we will remove and get into, but first I want to add in some sound effects. So it just it is also that visual cue and that audio cue, just so your audience knows that there's something on the screen. So we're gonna go into audio here, up here, and then go and search for the sound effects. Now, as mentioned, because I am signed into CapCut with my TikTok account, I have a favorites section. So in this case, what you can do is just search for a whoosh sound effect, hit enter, and then you can play back a bunch of these to see which one you like best. Now, in this case, I do believe I use the deep whoosh for the initial transition in. So let's just time this correctly here. On the internet, where I help fellow real estate brothers. And okay, and then we are gonna search for, in this case, a mouse click, but I have that already saved to my favorites. And so it is called, if I scroll down here, mouse click number two. <laughs> so I'm just gonna drag that here. And then we're gonna look for the, I think it's called, where are you? It's something bell, belding. Okay, that's perfect. I'm gonna drag this down here. And then we just have to time this correctly. So I want to put the mouse click when it looks like it's clicking on this. So let's go in here and just time this accordingly. And then you want the bell sound to be almost immediately after the mouse click. And now let's give this a playback. Brothers and sisters, level. The mouse click is a little slightly, just a little bit quiet. So I'm just gonna bump it up a little bit. And this whoosh sound is kind of intense. So I'm just gonna bring it down. And let's give this a full playback. Internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters level up their content. Perfect. Now the last effect that we need to do is obviously to remove the green screen. So click on the green screen footage here. We're gonna go up to the cutout up here click on that and then toggle on chroma key click the color picker here click on that click on it and then click on the green now you notice it's not working well because we have to increase the strength of that green color matching essentially so i typically like to be anywhere from 40 to 50 and if we give it a playback 
from the internet where I help fellow real estate It's pretty much sisters perfect. Up. Now at this point, as mentioned, I have named this project the YouTube template up here. And essentially, let's just say, and the reason why I'm doing this is because unfortunately with CapCut, we are not able to save our CTA with just the green or sorry just the transparent effect right so in this case if you do want to learn how to download your ctas with a transparent background i do have another video with adobe premiere pro which i personally use for, to create my cta so check out the video up here but again i wanted to give people a very easy way to create your own ctas now typically what i would do in this case is click and drag all of this and then i would group it so that you can move this on the timeline and the sound and the visuals will move together. Now in this case, again, because I have named this YouTube template, ideally what I want to do in this case is that every time you create a YouTube video, you don't have to drop in your CTAs, do the green screen, the, the chroma key, add in your sound effects. In this case, because we've named it YouTube template, what we can do is just Go back here and we need to say uh, this was say this footage wasn't there this is just an empty project file a template that you've created for yourself in this case on the timeline there could be multiple different ctas for your specific video let's say if i click out of here it's going to already auto save for me but in this case let's say we are creating a youtube video and we have just filmed some new footage and now we need to edit that project so in this case what we do is just right click on this and duplicate it so if we open this up, we have YouTube template copy. Obviously you want to change this out to the current project you're working on, but you'll see that the CTA remains on the timeline. And then at this point, all you have to do is just import your new footage and then start editing right away. So that's my little ninja trick as to how you can use CapCut to create efficiencies in your editing process. And that's pretty much it for the entirety of this tutorial here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends or anyone else that you think might benefit from this video. And if you stay to the very end of this video, please comment down hashtag and crew down in the comments down below so that I know that you stayed till the very end and that you, my friend, are a real one. And if you're interested in learning more about YouTube branding and you want to learn how to create your own custom YouTube watermark that goes in the corner of your video, then check out this video right over here. And if you are ready, get ready to click in three, two, one.